Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be talking about sailcloth straps and why you might want to consider putting a sailcloth strap on your sports watch. The main reason is that you want that waterproofness. If you put a leather strap on your watch, it's going to absorb the moisture, it's going to absorb the sweat, it's going to absorb the water. A sailcloth won't do that because it's not made of leather. And I really like sailcloth straps because when they're on your watch, you can actually see, you see that you can see, you can still see the watch. I don't like those rubber ones that go all the way up and then cover most of the watch. I like to see my watch. And then I've recently discovered a company that allows you to swap them with an easy link system. That basically you can, in a touch of a spring system, you can, I recommend you hold the watch like this though so it doesn't bob forward. You can literally pop it off like that. You can then change a strap, put another one uh, back on, and you can then do the same thing again. You can click it into place, and you can pop it in like that. I just did that on camera, as you can clearly see. That's very hard to do. That's not for the faint-hearted, but you could never do that if you were doing that with a tool because you would gouge your watch. Now that I've discovered these Atom straps, I'm in, I'm all in. And as you'll see from the next video, I have quite a lot of them. Now, because of receiving these straps, I said, give me more. I've got a special delivery. I've got the perfect strap for this watch. And if you come with me, you'll see it. So are you ready? Let's go. This is my 225 450, which has just come back from service. And I'm going to show you how to remove a pin uh, with a tool. I can actually do this with my bare fingers, but let's just show you with the proper equipment what all you have to do. And there you go, Iwala, it's gone. I'm just admiring how beautiful the watch is. The polish inside the lugs, the fact that the lugs have zero damage. And I would like to preserve this zero damage for as long as possible. Obviously, I'm going to wear the watch, but I don't want to cause unnecessary harm by swapping uh, bracelets and straps around with a gouging tool. My original plan was to put this 225450 Seamaster on the current Seamaster's rubberized strap. And yet I just didn't really feel it. I didn't really like the rubber being so high. And I just think it cheapens the watch. I see it all the time with these other rubber straps. And again, this one just doesn't do it for me. But I thought this was my only option. So therefore, that's what I chose. And uh, luckily for me, um, Artem have created a strap that allows me not to have to use this. The other thing as well is when you look at this, to actually get this strap on and off, I can't use my favourite tool. That tool, I never have a problem getting um, pins off, but um, I have no choice but to use the Omega one in this case, but I guarantee you, you'll be gouging the watch and you'll be gouging trunk chunks of the rubber strap out while you're attempting to swap that strap. If Even if you get it on first time, good luck getting it off. So the Atom uh, quick release system uh, was made for me and I've literally had them on and off, on and off, on and off all day and I had zero problems. I can do it probably blindfolded now. There is a knack to it and don't get frustrated with your first go but once you get the knack you can literally take them off and on with your bare fingers blindfolded. They really are beautifully made straps. Just look at the white stitching on this blue sailcloth strap. The finish is immaculate and there's like, you look how easy it is. You just push the pin in and out. 
offer one side in first and then you put the pin uh, moving side in after and then look at the difference you just know that that rubber strap is going to be a nightmare to get back off and yet why can't everybody do this why can't everybody adopt this quick release system now i do know that omega has this on certain watches and they have put this system on their latest um paris edition which really annoyed me their metal bracelet on their paris edition seamaster diver 300m is detachable so that technology exists they're just not using it also i like the deployable clasps i've always been a fan and the Ayrton ones are top quality as well and this black on black strap is just uh, stunning i think this would look lovely on a speedy or a more uh, a, a, a watch with more black accents to it as you can see it's very simple to do offer the non-moving pin side in first and then offer the spring side and then my little trick well i'm sure everybody's going to do this is when you put it on the watch you want to give it a wobble just to make sure that you are definitely on because you can still miss it if you're not careful i always use my index finger on the other side because i don't want it to pop forward and again as you can see it goes on without any hassle and just remember there's a camera in front of me love the way the strap doesn't overpower the watch it blends in with the watch and allows you to see the entire beautiful beautifulness of the lugs and if you're a watch collector you'll get exactly what i'm saying and i reckon this strap was made for this watch however spoiler alert i have a strap incoming that's going to knock this strap off the top spot can be a little bit tricky to get these on you have to pinch them through and then you've got to push them in place but once you have the knack it's a very simple job really top quality clasp and just sits beautiful again and really does i mean was this strap made for this watch probably the only problem with that is this watch is 20 years old and i'm pretty sure this strap is a new innovation For those of you that are interested, this is my 225450. It's an Omega Seamaster Diver 300M. It was designed, created in conjunction with an artist called Peter Blake. That's why it's called a Peter Blake. He was an explorer, he was a seafarer, he was also an artist. Sadly, he's passed away. This watch, just lovingly restored by Omega Boutique at number 260 Regent Street. I'd like to thank Anthony and the team at that Omega Boutique. And I would like to congratulate Kelly on her new promotion. Couldn't resist doing a wrist roll shot. And uh, as you can see, it really does shoot, suit the watch perfectly, the strap. If you just see you can actually remove the strap while it's still connected to the deployable clasp maybe it's laziness but i'm just trying to demonstrate that you don't have to detach the strap and now you can see that the strap looks fantastic on this blue atom strap not right for this watch but it still looks great and um, in an upcoming part you'll see that i have got a very similar idea in mind with the old white stitching and um again like i said it can be a bit fiddly getting it on for the first time these are all first times and that's why i'm struggling but i wanted to show you guys a sort of a live version of you know if it was your first time what 
you would have to deal with and I didn't want to have this overly edited either so that so that there's nothing hidden from you. Dare I say it, but the blue atom sailcloth strap is starting to grow on this watch. I mean pretty much anything would go with that watch, right? Just another option, the Atom Cream Strap. Again, this looks pretty comfortable on this watch. And it doesn't look odd. It's not my first choice, but definitely something you could consider if you are uh, like cream. You do have, you do have to slide them in. Put it to the position you want then you fold it in and then pop it onto the metal pin and there you are that's how easy it is to do it but it's still quite fiddly it looks nice on this cream strap but it just doesn't do it for me guys Which one would you choose? Cream? Blue with white stitching? Blue with blue stitching? Black with black stitching? Yeah, you got me. Black with white stitching. An absolute pairing made in heaven. You guys can all go away. I think I found the perfect item strap for this watch. Spoiler alert, I kind of knew this would work with this watch because when I saw this on the website, I knew I had to have it. I asked Artem would they be willing to send me some more straps. They said, sure, no problem. And here it is. Now, if you're very quick on the old eyes, you can see that I've put this strap on the wrong way around. Yes, I have. I've put it on backwards. The buckle side should be on the top. But through the magic of editing, you guys will never know. See it again. Buckle side is the wrong way around. I'm still fanning around with it, thinking I've done it properly. But I only find out in a couple of seconds when I go to put the watch on. But again, the quick release system got me out of trouble. Two shakes of a, of a cat's tail and I was able to swap it around again. No issues. You can clearly see that this strap was made for this watch. It doesn't interfere with the watch. It doesn't overpower the watch. And the white stitching on this black atom sailcloth strap, this 20 mil sailcloth strap, just fits beautifully on the timepiece. Was it made for this watch? I don't believe so. Is it made for this watch? It sure is now. Hi guys, so I chose one. I chose the best one. I chose the black sail clot from Atom with the white stitching and it just goes perfectly with this watch. It couldn't be better. I'll just take it off the wrist. So I've gone with the black PVD coated deployable uh, clasp and I've gone with the black sail clot with the white stitching. Um, was it made for this watch? Definitely. And remember what I said before, I, I like to see the watch, not the strap. I think the strap should be part of the watch, not take over, if you know what I mean. You'll understand what I mean. when you, If you're collecting watches, you'll know what I'm talking about. You want to see the beauty of the lugs and the case. And this strap from Atom allows you to do that. Thank you so much, Atom. When I saw this strap on the website, I knew that this would go perfect on my 225450, and it did. It does. Is it staying on there? It can do. It can, it can or it can't, because I can literally pop it off, pop it on, three seconds, 
and it's no issue, no hassle, no trouble, and literally all strap providers should do this. All strap providers should have a quick release mechanism. Now, are some straps, they're based in Adelaide in Australia, they're on the internet, and they do sailcloth straps, they do buckles, and they do NATO straps. I'm all in with Artem, I love their products. I am literally their biggest fan. And I will catch you on the next one.